clean architecture looks like this. And I had to redraw this uh, diagram to show it later in in a different light. So even if you go clean architecture from the clean coder blog from the OG, this is it, right? We have web, use cases, entities, everything. But I I wanted to draw it again. So here's our clean architecture, right? We have the web and UI at the outermost layer. And I'm going to say layer just because I don't know any uh, a better name for it. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, layered architecture or anything like that. Just, you know, trying to communicate. So this is one layer, right? And the bottom is infrastructure. And if you go back, you can see that we have the web here, the UI here, and the DB here. And it's not really clear how web and UI and DB are in the same ring, right? It wasn't really clear. So yeah, and inside we have use cases and then inside we have models. The point is that the dependencies are inwards pointing. So web depends on the use cases and imports use cases and uses use cases. But use cases do not import anything from the web. Use cases do import from the models. Web might not actually implement from, from you know from the models, but it's not bad because it's you know in a, in a transitive way it does depend on models as well. If use cases depend on models, then web depend on models because web depends on use cases. You get the drift, right? But then we have the infrastructure, and how do we have the in, which is the DB? by the way, how do we have infrastructure depend on the use cases and web UI depend on the use cases while infrastructure and web UI do not touch? This diagram does not really show you that. I made it clearer. Here's a better clean architecture diagram that works and, and it's much cleaner. It helped me understand, you know, the rings. I, I, I really needed to put them as like layers and a hierarchy because we are in a way explaining a hierarchy of dependencies right so this is how it looks like the web you know uh, depends on the application layer which are the use cases you know and also the infrastructure interfaces right so infrastructures uh, the infrastructure layer or segment or zone or space i don't i don't care the infrastructure a layer holds the repositories and any shared services like authentication service, email service, for example, user signs, zip, signs up, you want to send them an email, you're not going to put that in an application. You're going to put it in a service. And it's going to be in the, in the infrastructure because it's shared across uh, multiple use cases, etc. And then we have the entities at the bottom, which are yeah the models, the errors, you know, the common errors that we have defined, they're all at the bottom and basically all of the layers have access to them and used by the business layer. But clean architecture by the book uses dependency injection to use, you know, to use the repositories and anything from the persistence layer and how that is happening without explicitly importing or implementing uh, you know, like using stuff from the infrastructure layer is through interfaces. So we have uh, repositories, right? We have the collections repository, we have the links repository. Those interfaces, the contracts are defined in the applications layer, but are implemented in the infrastructure layer. So that when we get into, you know, with, uh, get with, get in with Inversify and want to register stuff, Inversify will hook up the repository with this interface. And inside of the use cases here, we're using interfaces that are defined inside of the application layer. So we're not importing anything regarding the implementation of repositories or databases or anything like that. This line right here, is where you need dependency injection. You don't need dependency injection here. You don't need dependency injection here because you're literally pulling in, you know, you can pull in directly from the application layer from the web UI because it, it does depend on it, right? But in for this line to be 
to function, you need a dependency injection mechanism. You need Inversify in a way. So, yeah, the infrastructure, the infrastructure interfaces for the services, for the repositories, everything is defined in the application because this is where we use them. We just keep them their definitions here. So if this this layer basically um, accesses, you know, external services and also any databases that you might have. Everything is de de defined here and implemented here, but the dependency is this way. It's not that way. In our initial architecture, it was a direct dependency, right? The business layer dependent on, depended on stuff from the persistence layer. But in this case, it's the other way. It's flipped because the interfaces are here and the implementations are here. The infrastructure layer, to be able to implement the interfaces, it needs to import them. So there's the dependencies, the dependency here. The infrastructure depends on the application, not the other way around. And so for it, you know, so we can prevent the other way around of dependency, we use uh, the, a, a DI container like Inversify, so that inside of the application, we can say, give me whatever implementation you have registered for the I collections repository. I don't care if it's a database. I don't care if it's a mock repository. If we're working with JSON files on the application layer, I don't care about the implementations. I need a repository that knows how to save this file or update this uh, collection or unpublish this link, etc. That's basically that's basically how this line. I should even like color this in a in a different way that's how this line works that's where we need dependency injection so that we can achieve you know clean architecture by the book and this is clean architecture by the book it's the same diagram it's just presented in a different you know in a different way which to me is much clearer than the rings and the you know circle diagram now i see what depends on, you know, I see much clearer, basically, if you will. I see that this, there's nothing between these two. And there is a line here. And I said, you know, set the line there, but there is no line here. So UI and external interfaces and DB and everything is just mushed together in one single uh, like ring. And that tells me that it's all in the same place. It's not. It's two different places that have like a a hard line between them. So that is clean architecture by the book, presented in a different way with a different diagram that actually helped me uh, understand that better. In order to 